everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have x to the power of 6 is equal to x minus 1 to the power of 6 and we will solve this problem for the value of x so the very first thing we are going to do is here first i can rearrange the terms as x to the power of 6 and if we move x minus 1 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and it will becomes minus times of x minus 1 to the power of 6 is equal to 0 after that uh, I can apply here the nice square formula so that we will convert this equation into the uh, square form so we write this x cubed to the power of 6 as x we write x to the power of 6 as x cubed to the power of square minus x minus 1 cubed and its whole square is equal to 0 after that we will use here the nice formula and you know about this formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we apply this formula you just put the values of a and b in this formula and you get the output in the required form so here we have this is the value of a and this is the value of b so now we put the values of a and b in this formula and we get x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed and x cubed plus x minus 1 cubed is equal to 0 after this step uh, i can convert this into the two cases uh, so that the first case is we take the first term is equal to 0 which is x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed is equal to 0 and the second case is we take x cubed plus x minus 1 cubed is equal to 0 and here i can name this as equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2 so now first i can uh, solve the equation number 1 so the equation number 1 implies x cubed minus x minus 1 cubed is equal to 0 so uh, in this equation i can use the nice cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here you have the value of a is x and the value of b is x minus 1 so now we put these two values of a and b in this formula and you get the output in the form of x minus x minus 1 times of x square plus x times of x minus 1 and plus x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 so here i can just apply this cubic formula on this term and we get the output in this form so now after this step we will multiply uh, or we just simplify uh, the terms so here you can multiply this minus sign on both of the terms and you get x minus x plus 1 times of here you have x square and now we multiply this term on both of the terms you get x square minus x and we can open this square formula and you get x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 so in uh, here you have these are gone here you get now we add these three terms and you get three times of x square and we add these two terms and we get minus 3x and remaining is 1 is equal to 0 so uh, after this simplification we get only the this quadratic equation uh, and now we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so here we have a is equal to 3 
b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 1 and this is the over nice quadratic formula so here we put the values of a b and c in this formula and you get x is equal to minus b and the value of minus b is minus 3 so it will becomes plus 3 and plus minus it is b square so b is minus 3 and minus 3 square is minus 9 minus here we have 4 times of a and c and the value of a is 3 and c is 1 so 4 times of 3 is equals to 12 and its square root and whole over you have 2 times of a the value of a is 3 so 3 times of 2 is 6 so now we simplify the terms and you get 3 plus minus here you have 9 minus 12 is equals to minus 3 over 6 so uh, here you focus on the term uh, here you have minus sign under the square root uh, so you know that if you have minus 1 square root it is equals to iota so now we use this definition here and you get the two roots of the uh, given equation are x is equal to 3 plus minus square root 3 iota over 2 so these are the two complex roots of the given equation so now in order to find the other roots uh, we implies the equation number 2 so here we write the equation number 2 so this is the equation number 2 x cube plus x minus 1 whole cube is equal to 0 so now we write this equation x cubed plus x minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 0 so now in order to solve this equation we will use here the cubic formula and you know that if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so now you put the values of a and b uh, in this formula and you get the output in the form of so here you have the value of a is x the value of b is x minus 1 so it is a plus b times of a square which is x square minus a b which is x into x minus 1 and plus b square so our b is x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 so now we simplify this term and uh, here you have x plus x is equals to 2x minus 1 and here you multiply this x on both of the terms and you get x square minus x square plus x and you open this square you get x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 and in the next step we will simplify the terms and you get 2x minus 1 times here you see that x square is gone by x square and here you get this x square I can write first and you have plus x and minus 2x it is equals to minus x and this is plus 1 is equal to 0 so here we have two cases the first case is we take 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 and the other case is we take x square minus x plus 1 is equal to 0 so in this case you get the value of x is 1 over 2 now uh, this is the third root of the given equation so in order to find the other roots we will solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula and here we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to 1 so our quadratic formula is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times of a c square root over 2 times of a so here we put all the values of a b and c so the value of b is minus 1 so this is minus minus plus 1 and plus minus the b square minus 1 square is plus 1 minus 4 times of a c the value of a is 1 and the value of c is 1 so 4 times of 1 is 4 square root over 2 times of a is 2 and now we simplify this term and you get 
x is equal to 1 plus minus minus 3 square root over 2 so here we again apply the definition of iota and you get 1 plus minus square root 3 iota over 2 and hence finally uh, you have the five roots of the given equation and these roots are x is equal to 1 over 2 and x is equal to 3 plus minus square root 3 iota over 2 these are the two roots and our last two roots are 1 plus minus square root 3 iota over 2 so these are the final five roots of the given equation and this is our final answer so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos